Johns Hopkins University Center for Health Security. Dr. Adalja, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Well, so far we have only seen cases in three states in the U.S., but it's already in at least a dozen countries in Europe. Should we expect to see this spread? I do think we're going to see more cases. I think when you look at which, which virus is being linked to it, this is a virus that is worldwide. We're, we're likely going to see more as people become more aware of it, start testing for it, start looking for it. That's what the CDC's health alert was about, making people aware. So I do think we will see more cases. We don't quite understand enough to understand the epidemiology and how it's spreading. But if it is being caused by this common virus, uh, I do suspect there'll be more cases. And how severe are these symptoms? Uh, how parents or caretakers learn about that and how long they last? Well, so it's important to remember, we're just kind of scratching the surface of this. So we don't have all the data now. But what we are seeing is that some of these individuals do have very severe disease, needing liver transplants because of so much liver damage that's been done. No one has died from this, but it is a serious infection or a serious condition when it occurs, but we just don't know how rare it is. Is this something that many kids are getting infected with and only a very small number are getting hepatitis? Or is this something that's really specific to this type of virus? I think this is something that we need to understand a lot more about to be able to give people really actionable information. Mm -hmm. you, and you mentioned there not being a link with adenovirus. Uh, it's not known to cause hepatitis, but what more do we know about the adenovirus? So adenoviruses are very common viruses. Every one of us has had an adenovirus infection. They cause sore throats. They cause uh, urinary tract infections. They cause, uh, they cause GI illnesses. And what we know is that this serotype, they found it's called adenovirus 41F. That's not usually been something that causes hepatitis. Other hep adenoviruses have caused hepatitis. So they don't quite know why it's causing this. It's is it a cofactor? Is there something else going on with this virus? But there certainly are a lot of people that are positive for this adenovirus and also have hepatitis. But we need to do more studies, something called case control studies, where we look at people who, who do and don't have hepatitis and try and tease out what the factors are. But I think that this is a leading hypothesis that this virus is, is playing a role and something has changed about its behavior or the immune system of the people that it's infecting uh, since it's causing something that it's not known to cause. Well, we appreciate your insights. It's something definitely needing more study, and there certainly is concern as well. Dr. Amish Adalja, thank you, sir, for joining us.